I'd like to say a few things about the African opportunity. Africa is home to not less than 30% of the world's remaining mineral resources. 90% of the world's platinum is found in Africa. 90% of the world's cobalt is found in Africa. 90% of the world's chromium is found in Africa. A significant proportion of the world's lithium, which perhaps is a new gold, is in the continent of Africa. 50% of the gold's resources are in Africa. Not to mention significant resources in copper, iron ore, bauxite, oil and gas, and many ornamental minerals like diamonds. So the continent on the front side is wealthy, but we all stand aghast when we realize that its people are not wealthy. It means that we have not monetized and optimized our opportunities the way we should. And that is why it's important that we IPs come together and facilitate real development using these resources that we have that for the longest have benefited others but not ourselves. I mean, Africa accounts for just about 2.3% of global exports. But with an export basket heavy on primary commodities and natural resources, and that is why we haven't really facilitated growth, because we actually export those resources and raw materials in their raw form. And then, incidentally, import the processed goods from those raw materials. And that is not a good formulation for wealth creation, because we are only monetizing our assets at the lower end of the value chain and paying for them at the higher end of the value chain. That equation cannot hold. We must reverse that equation such that we also become an export-oriented um, continent because we have the raw materials, we have the markets. So whether we develop our internal markets or not, we still are well positioned as a major export um, country or continent. Thank you.